Aaron Rodgers. It is reported that he has bought property in Franklin, Tennessee, right outside of Nashville, and he is reportedly open to joining the Titans. The Titans are, again, reportedly looking to move uh, Ryan Tannehill, and they could be in the Aaron Rodgers sweepstakes. Now, I will say this. There's all this talk about him going to Denver, right? Denver is in the AFC, same as the Titans. Denver is a much more difficult division. Yeah. Just because they're in the same conference doesn't mean they're the same. Right. So that's where the Tennessee thing gets in. Because this conference over here is a shit show, okay? (laughs) We don't have a coach at two of these locations, and we assume whoever takes over has got at least a three-year rebuild. Oh, yes. right? The other team is coached or quarterbacked by Carson Wentz. All right. Like if you're not moonwalking through this division every year, if you if you're not six and zero oh or five and one through this division, you get out, get the hell out. Because we Wentz, got it, three other teams that are bastardized football teams right now. We haven't talked about the fact that Tennessee is legitimately maybe a quarterback away from, being from really being good. Scary, scary good. <laughs> Like, their defense is is lights out. They finally got that side of the ball shored up, the pass rush and everything. Uh, now, obviously, you're going to have changing pieces year in and year out. But heading into next season, the guys that they have under contract, this team is going to be really, really good again next year, so. regardless of whether and they also, have Tannehill. I also think they have an outstanding quarterback, uh, uh, head coach. Um, the, the other argument for this is that at some point in time, compensation's got to be given to Green Bay. And I cannot imagine a package – that Green Bay would rather have Tannehill as much as he was a disaster in the playoffs and whatever. Tannehill's light years better than anybody that they could get from Denver. Oh, that's 100% true. And because if on you top don't of that. Think, if you don't think love is ready, which nobody thinks love is ready, then you better be getting a quarterback that can play this year. It's, I'm looking to see uh, what Ryan Tannehill's cap hit is. Uh, uh, I bet it's pretty good. He got a he got a raise not too long ago, unless it was front loaded, which rarely is. Uh, I, I bet I bet it's not. A it's not Aaron Rodgers, by the way, so it's going to be substantially less than that. But it's probably not going to be cheap. Oh, it's definitely not cheap. It's uh, it's thirty eight million. Yeah. I thought, ooh. Okay. So it was all backloaded. This was backloaded. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've, I, well, most all these contracts are always backloaded, so that doesn't surprise me. But um, damn, damn. Yeah, that's a lot. But that might be more than Rodgers. That that actually. But doesn't it fall off after this year? Wasn't it a three year deal? Uh, nope, it falls off after twenty twenty three. Okay, so it's uh, after, so they have two years. But with it. but next year it drops again. Yeah, it's the, the, it's down to like thirty five. Yeah. So uh, Aaron Rodgers, his cap. Oh, <laughs> it's uh, Aaron Rodgers' cap is forty six point six. So it's a, it's ten million dollars more. Yeah, I was wrong um, about that. Then. And th- there is, of course, cap issues and whatnot with Green Bay. Um, you know that Tannehill, I believe, has already – didn't he uh, – did he work with Matt LaFleur? Well, yeah, LaFleur was with the, the Titans. At Titans. I'm trying to remember if that was the first year that Tannehill was there or if it was still Mariota or – I can't remember. Either way, Tannehill would basically be a holdover to, like, help Jordan Love. That's right. So, it, it's – I mean, you could see a deal being done there. It buys you another year, and and to my, I will tell you this: if I'm Aaron Rodgers, a the AFC South is far better than the AFC West. That's not it. it that's not up for debate. Agreed. Um, and then the other argument you've got, if you're Green Bay, um, I would. I don't know what package Denver could put together, or the 49ers could put together, but I do think the 49ers are probably better than than. Ooh, maybe not. Titans, Titans be able to moonwalk through their divisions a big deal because Rodgers has been able to moonwalk through his division because the other three clowns are clowns. Yeah, and that's a, that's an important part. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe it's the best for him no matter what. Uh, I can't I can't imagine the compensation that they would get. 49ers have virtually nothing to give up for anybody, um, and then Denver. I don't know what their assets look like, and you damn sure don't want Teddy or you know or Drew. Yeah, no, I think I think the best bet might be Ryan Tannehill because he's only got two years left, and 
At the cap is is somewhat similar, so you but, can well, no, get there. I mean, it saves them ten million dollars. That's a big t- dude. If you're saving the oh, team yeah. ten million dollars, that's a that's a lot. Oh, a hundred percent. A lot of players who don't make but a couple million dollars a year. You could, you could go sign three free agents with that. Yes, no, you're right. Well, and don't forget the Packers have to get under the cap. Well, like they've yeah, got a you huge. Don't sign anybody. You're just trying to save money. You got it. So that could certainly help. So that that was one I had not even thought about the possibility of the Titans actually making a move for Aaron Rodgers. Him, hang on. So let me let me bring this up. Okay, him moving okay. To, to to Franklin, that could also just be a financial deal. Okay. Oh yes. Like that 100%. could be a fin- like Tennessee's one of the three states that doesn't have a state income tax. It, you know, if you move your residency there, just because you make your money in in you know Mile High or San Francisco doesn't mean anything. You 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 still live here you pay taxes here um so that would i think i think you know that could just be a also nashville's become like nashville and austin are the two most booming cities in the country um so everybody yeah. moved out of california over to those areas so that's right. yeah no it makes sense it's uh it, it could just be a wise investment but the fact that he now has property there makes it a little more interesting Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.